Welcome Atomites to another Comic Universe video. Today we will be taking a look at 9 actors who after playing one superhero simply couldn't resist taking on another iconic superhero role. In order to qualify for this list they must have appeared on screen or motion captured the character. Here are 9 actors who have played numerous superheroes on screen. Doug Jones' first superhero appearance came in the role of Abe Sapien in 2004's Hellboy, where he portrayed the once human Langdon Everett Call, who was transformed into an Ichthyo Sapien after taking part in an arcane ritual that freed a strange jellyfish deity from its captivity. Three years would pass and Doug Jones found himself putting on the mantle of another superhero character in 2007. This time as the role of Marvel's Silver Surfer, the Herald of Galactus in Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. Ray Stevenson's first outing in the superhero world was as the violent one-man army, Frank Castle aka The Punisher in 2008, that saw him spread fear into the lives of the mob whilst hunting down Jigsaw. Once again, three years would pass and saw Ray put away the high-tech weaponry and dark demeanour of the Punisher for the kind-hearted, axe-wielding role of warrior Volstagg in 2011's Thor. Nicolas Cage raced onto the superhero scene by playing the burning motorcyclist Johnny Blaze, the Ghost Rider in 2007. Three years later? Three years seems to be a recurring theme here and Nicolas Cage swapped his penitent stare for body armour and bullets to play the vigilante superhero Big Daddy in Kick-Ass in 2010. When casting for the title role in The Mask, Jim Carrey's name would have been high up on the list as he played the shy Stanley Ibkiss and the crazy tricks of The Mask to perfection in 1994. It would be 19 years before Jim would take on another superhero role. This time, playing the ex-mob enforcer turned superhero crusader, Colonel Stars and Stripes, in 2013's Kick-Ass 2. Ben Affleck's first superhero foray was in 20th Century Fox's 2003 movie adaptation of Marvel's blind lawyer Matt Murdock and his sense-enhanced alter ego Daredevil. In 2016, Ben bulked up to play another superhero adaptation, this time portraying DC's dark, iconic knight, Batman in Batman vs Superman. Aaron Taylor Johnson portrayed the title role of Dave Lazowski and his superhero alter ego Kick-Ass in 2010, when he took on the mob alongside Hit-Girl and Big Daddy. Four years passed and Aaron took up the mantle of super speedster Quicksilver in a cameo appearance in Captain America The Winter Soldier in 2014. Brandon Roos' first appearance as a superhero on screen came in the form of portraying the most famous one of all, Superman in 2006. It would be another eight years after putting away his Superman outfit until he picked up the costume of Ray Palmer, the Atom, on the TV show Arrow, The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow. Ryan Reynolds' first superhero outing was in the form of the vampire hunting vampire Hannibal King in 2004 in Blade Trinity. Five years later and Reynolds would appear in 2009 in X-Men Origins Wolverine as Wade Wilson aka Deadpool. Two years after his first outing as Deadpool, Ryan appeared as the Emerald superhero Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern of Earth in 2011. Chris Evans is no stranger to the portraying of superheroes on screen as he has done so on three separate occasions. His first outing occurred in 2004's Fantastic Four where he played the charismatic Johnny Storm and his alter ego the Human Torch. 2009 saw Evans pick up another superhero credit when he played the role of telekinetic Nick Gant in Push. Two years later and Chris took on his now most famous superhero role, the patriotic super soldier Captain America in 2011. Well Animites, that is it for this episode. I'll be back with a brand new Geek Universe video for you all tomorrow, but until then, you guys stay atomic, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!